Hey, all you sassy preppers, welcome back to Sassy Gal Prepping. And today we're going to go over the Walmart grocery prices for the week of May 15th. But I wanted to do it a little bit differently. I wanted to show you the actual chart that I have been working on for the past six weeks just to compare prices on milk, eggs, ground beef, chicken, and also gas. You can see this week's price is $3.91 for milk, for a gallon of whole milk. Our lowest price was $3.61 on May 1st, and our highest price was $4.35 on April 24th. So we've had quite the range of prices here. It's still the same as it was last week. Um, we have 2% milk at $0.03 cents higher. I don't know how they come up with these prices. Look, you've got $3.26, $3.56, $4.35. I mean, just they're all across the board. Um, this week we have three twenty nine. dollars It's one cent cheaper for 1% milk. Uh, this, these are all gallons, by the way. Um, the fat-free milk is three fifteen, dollars which is two cents cheaper. <laughs> um, still five ninety eight dollars for organic whole milk, just across the board. That's never changed. And the powdered milk in the box with the 10 pouches is still $9.97. It did get down to $9.48 here a couple weeks ago, but it's right back up to $9.97 for the box. Then we're going to move down to eggs. This week, the great value one dozen eggs are $2.28, which is down from $2.73. It's been $2.73 for a few weeks, but look, way back here on April 10th, they were $1.68. The 18-count two-pack has gone down to $6.71. That is good news. So that's down a couple dollars. Uh, look, but it was $4.94 uh, six weeks ago. So anyway, um, the 60 count box, the five dozen egg box is down to $11.08. That's gone down a couple dollars. That's good. The organic one dozen eggs is $4.26. That's actually up now the organic and cage-free eggs are up this week. Cage free is three forty two for a dozen, and the Pete and Jerry's eggs are still riding strong at five thirty eight for a dozen. This week, the Great Value beef pretty much has kind of stayed the same in their prices. Um, this is the cheapest one of the seventy three twenty seven. It's the frozen. So Walmart frozen. It's three eighty eight for a one pound roll. It's four sixty two. For 80-20, and again, these are both in the frozen section, not a, not the fresh ones, the frozen rolls. Um, and the 93-7 has um, stayed the same at 562, um, 728 for the grass-fed 93-7. But look, the grass-fed 80-20 has gone up to 628 for a one-pound package, and then the three-pound hamburger package is still 12.92. It's up a dollar. Used to be eleven ninety two a few weeks ago, but it's still staying the same price at twelve ninety two. Now for chicken at my store, again all of these prices are at my local Walmart um, in the Northern Virginia area. We have boneless the boneless breast chicken package <laughs> um, is still out of stock. It's running two dollars and eight cents a pound. It was a dollar ninety nine, um, but they just they don't have any in stock of the chicken breasts that come in the tray, the Great Value brand. Purdue whole chickens are still out of stock. They were $5.84, but they do have the Purdue brand Harvest Land, which is supposed to be, you know, free range and um, no hormones and things like that. They do have um, those and they are running around $8, eight dollars eight eighty four for a, oh goodness, about an eight pound chicken, I believe. But that's at my Walmart. You might have better luck at yours. Um, the Great Value frozen chicken breasts in the bag, Those that's a five pound bag and that is $16.56. For the frozen chicken thighs, the Great Value brand, for a three pound bag, it's $6.58. And then the last but not least, we have the gas at Walmart. It's the Murphy gas station for regular gas. Is four dollars and fourteen cents. I did see diesel was a little bit cheaper um, at five um, sixty-five, just a few cents cheaper than what you see at the major stores, or the major gas stores like Shell and Exxon and things like that. But yeah, for regular gas, it's four fourteen. It's this is five cents cheaper than um, 
than what I paid. I paid $4.19 at a Shell gas station. There you have it, the prices for the week of May 15th for our Walmart here in the Shenandoah Valley. How does this compare with your prices? And how's your stock? Do you guys have these things in stock? Are you running low on eggs or chicken or milk? Let me know in the comments below. I always love to see how prices are you know, compared around the country. Y'all don't stop, keep on doing what you can while you can. Don't panic, we don't wanna be doing any panic, we wanna shop smartly. So um, do that, take these prices into consideration and prep it up, pack it up and stack it up y'all. See you next time.